Hey guys, it's Jack here, and today I'm going to be doing a video finally revealing what type of salamander some of those larvae became. Now, if you're a bit confused, a couple weeks ago I uploaded a video of some larvae that I collected from a local pond, uh, salamander larvae, and I made some predictions about what some of them are. Some of them haven't metamorphosized yet, so the so I'm not sure what they are, but some of the larger ones, well all of the larger ones, metamorphosized. So I'm about to show you what they are. Also, if you're confused about why I'm outside, I'm out here to get some better lighting because these guys are so small. Um, and also just to change a setting because this is a small tank, it's easy to move around. But I'll just show you what's here. So I've got some sphagnum moss because sphagnum moss really, really holds moisture well got a little tiny water dish it's only half full so um, these guys can get out very easy but um, it's very moist and a rock to hide but I'll show you what they are in just a second well there he is down there now if you can't tell from there I'll just pick him up and I'll show you what he is now as I predicted these guys are blue spotted salamanders sorry about the shaky camera now, if you don't know what a blue spot salamander is, they're a species of mole salamander, just like the tiger salamanders, marbled salamanders, and spotted salamanders. However, these guys live far more north than those species, and they're much smaller. These guys average about four inches full size as an adult, uh, but I have seen specimens around five and a half inches on occasion. This species is very common in at least this part of Canada. Uh, they live all the way north, I believe, up to like uh, Labrador, if you know where that is. Um, but these guys live throughout the northern, northeastern United States. Uh, they feed on insects like pretty much every other species of salamander. Uh, they are terrestrial. They generally are found in woodland habitats. I, I seem to find them very often in uh, pine forests, uh, but they generally live in woodlands that have vernal pools, which are small temporary pools that dry up by summer and they lay their eggs in, which I found these guys as juveniles in a vernal pool. So I got four of them. Let me just pick that guy up. Uh, but as you can see, they're very small. They have been eating well. I've been feeding them uh, pinheads, which is, you know, a very small cricket. Sorry about the shaky camera. It's just, you know, it's a bit windy and this tank is a bit uh, wiggly. So that's just the setup. It's I've got four of them in here. I really can't wait to show you these guys when they're fully grown because these guys are really cool. And I also hope to breed these guys eventually and get some captive bred individuals, which would be, <laughs> see how fast they move, uh, which would be really amazing. Well, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and tell me what you think of these videos. Should I keep making this style of video or should I do more herping videos? I'm really, I'm really open to doing that type, type of thing. I haven't been uploading too much because... Well, this kind of content, as I've said in the past, is something I can't push out day after day after day. Uh, but, you know, I've I've had a whole backlog of ideas, and I just want you guys to share some ideas and some stuff you would like me to show on the channel. Bye, guys.